Right. Undead are so like ten years ago. Yeah. yeah. And yet they're everywhere Zombies on television. And, oh yeah. yeah. It was nice. It was where you know where Jeff's character has you know willpower of the gods, although he failed to. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. Mm-hmm. I think he did. Oh, anyways, but you know, so he's he's like, oh, you know, punch, 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 <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah. It, was, it was neat. You know, it was, he was armored in a different way than what my character is. Which okay. You know, you know, he takes the fist and he's like, yeah. Yeah. So same question for subdual. Is anyone? How many people in the room are using it? A Very lot less. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two. Well, we will use it. Yeah, we'll, we right. will use it at some point. We're sure. two martial artists. I mean. Right, but you're using it as perfunctorily. You're using it because it happens to be there, or, or are you going to it because it serves a purpose? I don't have it right now. Uh huh. And I don't think the character would be in a position to do it right now. Because, okay. Yeah. You know, later on, I can see him. Oh, I probably shouldn't cut this guy to bloody ribbons and give him the, you know, the, the, back, the back of my talon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'll save you for later kind mm, of thing. Okay. But You're using it. Right. Okay. Yeah, love pummel. Love pummel. Okay. And you? I use it very much as a part of the character. Okay. All right. You know, it'll be another tool in the toolbox. Really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Anybody ever find that it gets in the way? No? Okay. I got a follow on question. Anybody uh, ever use a weapon and then realize it didn't work the way you thought it did? This is, this is related to the subdual question. A weapon and you didn't realize it. What, what, use, use the weapon and then you realize it doesn't quite do what you had. Uh, a good example is the, the issue of hammers. This is a popular forum topic. Uh, hammers, a lot of them inflict subdual damage. So or people, used to. Yes, yeah. a number of them still do. That's some. Yeah, so, you know, you've got an eight, you know, a four foot long shaft of wood or whatever with a 20 pound head that does some dual damage. Does that cause anybody? I heard some snickers over there. It's okay, it's okay. I, I want to know that, that the, you, you just end up switching it to, yeah. to lethal. Well, okay. for a hammer, I, would, I mean, because I mean, I've done tests with medieval weaponry and, you know, a battle hammer. Right, people think, and see, people think of it like when you. I mean, do you think of subdual damage like buffer weapons? I actually have another question, which is how many people have gotten in arguments about what subdual or stress damage are? That I've seen. Well, I mean, I haven't seen much of us so much, but I mean, because we're pretty used to, you know, abstracting the mechanic from the effect. You know, okay. I mean, we play, you know, wild talents and that kind of stuff. So, you know, right. yeah, harm is harm. My group did a lot of lethal and bashing damage and weapons, so okay. we're used to it. Mm. Okay. Stress could be, you know, your stress damage could be, you know, you're just peeing yourself in the corner or pass out or whatever, you know, you're, you're out of it. Mm-hmm. But you see the arguments, you just don't have them in your group very often. Yeah, we don't, but I mean, some people can't wrap their brain around, okay. you know, uh, that process of, yes, that is a type of damage, however, it's, you know, what it's representing. Right. You know, it's like hit points, right? Some people don't get hit points then. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, you're not getting stabbed every hit point you lose. You know, it's your fatigue, it's your, you know. That's actually my, my next question was going to go sure. straight into yeah. vitality, which is uh, how many people um, on, on average wind up ending fights with by, not, uh, by, by eliminating uh, an enemy's vitality? How often does that happen, do you think? Do, do your combats tend to end that way, or do they tend to end in other ways? I would say seventy-five percent. They, they pop the vitality. I sort of blame my players <laughs> okay. because they waste their action dice on on moves that well, that action dice could have just been the next attack that would have been gone instead of like booster damage or try to hit. Whereas they could have been saving that for the big bad guy later to turn their crit by the time they beat him. Okay, so so three quarters of yours are ending by vitality being because they can't get the crit because they've burned all their action dice earlier. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, but if they had the action dice, they would be burning through the crits, and you think that that the vitality would yeah. and actually, level. The last few games have been more in, in the game in the crits and things like that. So maybe they're draining their vitality. Okay. okay. All right. How about everybody else? Are they ending more in crits? Are they ending more? I'd say you guys nodding your heads back there.
Okay. Okay. And so it's just literally like at just waiting till somebody rolls eighteen or higher, and then. Pfft. Well, not the hammer, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that I, I absolutely love that I, I hate the grind. Mm -hmm. I really do. Who wants to go and fight a special that has like 120 hit points or fatality points, and you're just going to just grind? I know these are a lot of leading questions. And people are like, oh my god, what are they changing? Um, uh, action <laughs> burn dice. Burn it down, yeah. burn it down. <laughs> uh, action dice and crits are never going away. Those will right. be with our, uh, with our system forever. Um, we are, however, looking at some of the other numbers. Because, uh, I mean, we had a, this really long discussion about, uh, about vitality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it was, it, we, we each got two rants that day. Yeah, this was, yeah. This was, this was one of my rants, yes. Um, I, I, the, the, uh, the concern is whether characters, whether vitality means anything. Whether it's, it's really anything more than a timer. Um, and, uh, is it just security until a crit happens? Yeah. That's exactly my impression of it. Uh, I've played a lot more other game systems than I have Spycraft. Mm -hmm. uh, I came to it with Stargate back when you guys were still with AEG. Right. right. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that really turned me off to the D20 and your then powered by Spycraft system is vitality. I, I hate the abstractness of it. Uh huh. Right. Let me have fatigue or something else, not a damage tracker. It, it, with my with, with my personal sense of logic, it just didn't make any sense to me. So mm -hmm. it, it really turned me off. It just yeah, that one little small part really pulled you in. A, 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 a push away from it. Where right. I really don't play it all that much. Right. Is the issue is the issue the name? Do you think, or like the fact that it's being presented no, as damage, or not, is it the concept? Not so much the name. It, it's the the concept of what it represents, the abstract of what it represents. Well, you could be taking uh, glancing blows from somebody, or you could just be getting tired from dodging. There, there, there are so many. It, it goes back to what, what we were talking about earlier about the concept versus the mechanic. Mm. I mean. There, there are so many ways of explaining it. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't appeal to me. I mean, if it's a mechanical number on the system, what does it represent? Do you, uh, uh, and, and you want a, a concrete physical ex uh, uh, explanation, I assume? It's, it's, it's what you're looking for, or am I, I don't want to put words that's in your mouth. That's what I expect. Okay, okay. That's okay. what I expected when I came. Okay. So do you feel, um, specifically you, do you feel that combat is running longer or shorter or just than you would like or just right? With the presence of vitality, I feel like it's just a placeholder. Okay. Uh, I mean, like one of you said a minute ago, a, a timer to where the real meat of the combat goes on. Okay. I mean, right. Okay. Damage the, is damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask a, a se slightly separate question. Uh, how many of you guys use special characters in, in your games with regularly? Like, like, how many of you use like? Uh, he's talking about NPCs. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm sorry, special NPCs versus standard NPCs. How many of you use standard NPCs as the bulk of your enemies, the vast majority of your enemies, or use them exclusively? How many of you use it? I, I, I want. Bulk? I would like to know why. Yeah. Why do you guys use standards That's more than specials? Okay. Yeah. It's a numbers thing. It's, yeah, because at least with my players, when they start getting up in those levels, they love the ability to just, you know, they can plow through hordes of creatures. Like I say, there's 50 of these guys that are out there, and they're like, let's go. Yeah. Have you played um, uh, at any point in our games when you were fighting enemies that went down? It was a, they were binary. They either were up or down, like depending monks, on whether they'd been hit. Or something like that. Uh, did yeah. you like or dislike those? Depending on the on, on the actual part of the game that we were in, I mean, that that really didn't matter too much to me. Okay. I, I, I cut my teeth on gaming with Palladium and the power creep in it, where uh -huh. one, one shot kills. I, mean, I kind of got numb to that. 
Okay. It's the grind that really bugs you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, on general, how long do comets last for you guys? How many rounds? Oh, I think that depends on the combat setting. Okay. Let's let's say you're fighting. Um, uh, well, okay. What's how many enemies are you guys throwing at your your uh, your heroes on average? Like twice their number, more or less? Yeah. 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 Uh, Pitch fight, maybe four plus a special. Two to four times, maybe a little bit more with a special. And and those kinds of combats last you how many rounds, do you think? Uh, ten. Ten rounds, maybe. <laughs> how many actions do they have to kill them all? Well, uh, uh, in, in those ten rounds take you how long real time? Uh, 45 minutes. Really? Okay. All right. What about everybody else? <laughs> Yeah, ten rounds seems like I would run a lot longer with that. I don't know about everybody else, but yeah. Well, yeah. so how how long? As far as special and standard go, mm. if they have a name, they're special and if they don't have a name, sure. Have a name and I usually throw uh, even level. If there's six players, six guys. Mm -hmm. uh, at most, I'll do about double. Okay. Really, your combats are about twenty minutes. Okay. Okay. But it's mostly standard NPCs. Okay. I see, I see. I see some counting going on here. How about you guys? <laughs> you have enough fingers for this? Seven mobs against a seven mobs and six specials against a six against a group of six players. The Drake wouldn't bump it most of them off a cliff, so that that might be a good picture. Right. Sure. Four hours. Four, four hours. hours. But wow. you were they were fighting first. Yes. So first. So yeah. first level characters were fighting. Well, let's. I'm just gonna presume you have a group of four, so you. You fought 28 plus six special characters? They didn't Dude. know they were special. They got blown off the cliff. You guys are like oh the men. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's of course our biggest hurdle, yeah. <laughs> no, it's easy. Right. Yeah. So, uh, that that's an interesting question, um, and this this is not this is going to sound very meaningful, and I, I I assure you it's not very meaningful. Everything but, is still in flux, right, is what he's right, saying. Right. Well, it, 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 because this people may go, but uh, does it help to have the game sound less like D twenty? To help you learn it more easily, so you don't like if if we used if we stop using the term, let's say we stop using the term hit point, right? Or vitality. So, they, so yeah. then you stop thinking about them like you know them already from Pathfinder or 3.5 or whatever. Does does it help to di to create distance or not? I, I believe so, just because um, I'm stuck in my mindset. I can't break myself. Mm -hmm. Right. If there if there's a feat, why does it not work like a feat? Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Here's all these crunchy details. Let me try and distill them down. We, I did a poor job at that. Think like D and D. That that we're going to rectify in Spycraft and in future products for sure. So so for a long long time, people have said that um, uh, the one place for every rule thing that we do, where our books are written like textbooks, doesn't work. That they wanted a lot more cross referencing. Um, all our future books will be uh, uh, will be um, fully. Uh, we will. We are moving to a system now where when we reference a rule, we're moving the rule directly into the section. So you're actually going to see a lot more. Um, here's a feat. It doesn't point anywhere else. The feat works exclusively in its own territory. That's it. No, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain this, this to you. Is, we've gotten a lot of criticism on this one. Insight. So you guys, 